have a banana, Hannah. Try the salami, Tommy. Give it the gravy, Davy. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Try this is Barbara, Davey. and this is Jimbo. Okay. They've recently moved into a coop at the New Children's Museum. All it's right. not often you see a chicken in a contemporary art museum. So you're going to be meeting our chickens today. Does anybody know why we even have chickens here at the museum? They have to perform for the kids, but that just involves a lot of eating and petting. Not a bad gig, really. <laughs> Eight-year-old Rachel Silverstein is visiting the museum from Connecticut. Well, the chickens are soft, and when you feed them, they're ticklish a lot when they peck you. I think they enjoyed it, but I'm not positive. The chickens are part of a new museum-wide exhibit called Feast, the art of playing with your food. Kids are notoriously picky about food. Vegetables, for example, are a tough sell. And why actually eat food when it's so fun to play with? Tomoko Kuta is the co-curator of Feast. She says her six-year-old son is pretty good about food, but even he has his quirks. He's a bit of a lazy chewer. So if it's not a soft, textured food item, they'll kind of steer away from it. Feast is meant to get kids thinking about food. There are 13 art installations in the show. Kids don't like to eat unfamiliar foods, so some works are meant to breed familiarity. Again, Tomoko Kuda. Kids may not have eaten a tomato, but if you see it, you know, sort of giant scale and then play with it, then, you know, once they're home, they might be able to continue the conversation. Okay, well, so I played with the tomato at the museum. Maybe I'll try a slice now and see what it tastes like. Other works are meant to teach kids where food comes from, like this abstract orange grove by artist Nina Weissman. As kids walk and climb through the grove, they activate a medley of sounds. They hear orange pickers describing their work. Picking oranges, you know, you have a bag around your shoulder. Songs about oranges. Oranges. And the sound of eating an orange. The exhibit extends across the street from the museum in a garden by urban plantation founder Karen Contreras. Kids learn how to grow food and help tend to the garden. And I think it's good for kids, uh, for their nutrition, uh, for their health, to see uh, what food looks like, to taste what a food tastes like when it's fresh. When you get broccoli in the market, sometimes it doesn't taste so good, but when you harvest it and steam it right out of the garden, it's delicious. It can be tough to get kids outdoors and away from their phones, video games, and computers. Have kids develop senses other than their thumb muscles and, uh, you know, looking at a, at a screen, I think, that's one of the beauties of a space like this. It can really bring them down to earth. There is a lot to learn at Feast, but much of the artwork is just plain fun. Daddy, that's my sister, the entrance by art collective Fallen Fruit is a banana scratch and sniff wall. There's a jumpy machine, and there are food-related crafts, like making cupcakes out of clay. An octopus strawberry cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> This piece by San Diego artists Joe Yorty and John Brady is called Dinner TV. It's a giant dinner table, but once you crawl underneath, you can watch some pretty funny videos of kids eating. And look at her. And what is she eating? That is green. Broccoli. The musically inclined will have a ball in this work called Sound Kitchen by percussionist Ross Carr. In here, kids can rock out on kitchen instruments. But the chickens remain one of the most popular pieces. Artist Tatfu Tan's collective of five chickens is called 5 p.m. West. And the p.m. actually stands for poop machine, because that's essentially what chickens are. They eat and they poop, they lay eggs. Charles Tanyakic helps care for the chickens. He says kids always have a lot of questions about them. They're actually surprised about the fact that all of our chickens are hens and they're all girls. So that's actually a big surprise to them. They never expect that. So they expect, which one's the boy? Which one's the rooster? And they're always going to he. But we tell them they all lay eggs, and that's still surprising to them. Eat the tables, the chairs, the napkins, who cares? You gotta eat if it chokes you. Our food-obsessed culture has, until now, been the domain of adults. But an exhibit like Feast just might turn your five-year-old into a foodie. Everybody eats when they come to mind. Angela Carone, KPBS News.